Well, to discuss that further, we're now joined by Mr. E. Michael Jones, who is the editor of Culture Wars Online magazine, and he's joining us live now via Skype from Indiana. Mr. Jones, how important is a political solution versus a military solution in Syria? Well, the, 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 it's a great idea to have a political solution, but what you're dealing with here is the problem of irregular warfare. So if the United States were simply fighting Russia in this war, the United States and Russia could get together and they say, okay, we'll negotiate. But you have so many players in this war, you've got so many proxies, and you've got so many people supporting the proxies that anyone has, in a sense, any one of these groups has veto power over any type of settlement. All they have to do is create some type of atrocity, like attack on that uh, the aid convoy, no one knows exactly who did it. The United States tried to blame Russia. But uh, all they have to do is just something like that, and then suddenly the ceasefire is undermined, the trust is undermined, and there goes your political solution. Okay, so then, Mr. Jones, how do you feel about um, you know, demands by the United States that, that Syria and Russia essentially stop all aerial operations? Well, I, I, it's, it, it's, if, if Syria and, and Russia w were... Uh, in charge of the operation, uh, you'd say, or if they were the aggressor, you'd say, yeah, that would solve the problem. But nobody knows who's, who's going to start fighting. So in a sense, it probably doesn't make any sense to have them stop right now. And so then do you agree with President Rouhani's um, concern that if they were to, in fact, stop those operations against militants, that terrorism would only go stronger in Syria? Yeah, I think he's right in that regard. Yes. I mean, the, pro the problem is that you've got all of these proxy groups and no one is really in control of them. If one, one of the sponsors doesn't like what's going on, if Israel or Qatar doesn't like what's going on, they can have their people disrupt the entire peace process. It's that simple or that complicated. Okay, we'll leave it there at that point. But of course, as always, Mr. Jones, we appreciate your insight.